Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, many of you know I normally start my YouTube videos off by doing a lot of housekeeping stuff. You know, I give you all an intro, tell you all to sub since 97% of you all are not subscribed, and a bunch of other stuff. But instead, today I'm gonna cut all that out and get straight into it because today I just wanna talk a little bit about the state of Rocket League. Now, as many of you know, Rocket League recently had a major update that made the game free to play. And I'm not going to lie, right after it dropped, I was actually tempted to make a really negative review because I had a lot of personal complaints back then. Luckily, though, I decided to give the game some time before I really went in and made a full review. But seeing as it's almost been a month since the update dropped, I figured it's about time I shared my thoughts, which, spoiler alert, are much more positive than they were a month back. Before I get into this update video, I will say I'm a little bit of a biased source in that I make Rocket League videos, so I want the game to do really well. But truthfully, I do believe Rocket League is better off now than it really ever has been before, and today I'm going to talk more about exactly why I think that's the case. That said, I don't mean to say there aren't some things that I wish Epic got to fixing, but I'm going to try my best to save my complaints until later on in the video. Okay, why do I say Rocket League is in its best state ever? Well, to understand that, we have to go back a few months and talk about Rocket League in the earlier months of 2020. During the spring and summer, Rocket League was honestly kind of on the decline, and I'm not gonna lie, there was a lot of negativity going around in the Rocket League community. And you can really see this by the concurrent player chart that I'm going to throw on screen now, where the game was doing good at the start of the year, but slowly as the year progressed, engagement tapered off. Really, I think most players' feelings about the game at the time can be summarized by the single video that a guy named Cadence made called Rocket League is not okay. Basically what happened was, in the month of June, when everyone was fed up, a guy named Cadence dropped this video of him just ranting unfiltered about the game for five minutes. What's crazy is this video of him just ranting for five minutes with not much editing gained almost 200,000 views, even though Cadence only had about 10k subs at the time. Now, I think the reason this video went so viral and hit home with so many people was because everybody was sort of thinking the same thing at the time, but no one was talking about it. Now, what I mean by that is there were a lot of issues with the game at the time, but a lot of the big Rocket League YouTubers whose platforms were so big didn't want to talk about it. Now, there were a lot of issues with the game at the time, but I think most of it just came down to the fact that Epic wasn't communicating at all with the player base. And this caused a whole host of problems that rippled across all different parts of the game. So you had players feeling like they weren't being listened to, content creators feeling like they were carrying the game while Epic just sat there and watched, and overall, there was just the sentiment that Rocket League was slowly dying. Fast forward to the end of summer though, and we got an announcement that Rocket League was going free to play. And even though a lot of people have said Rocket League needed free to play to get back on the map, honestly, I think the game just needed a refresh period. Regardless, I'm not going to complain because as you'll see, this update has worked wonders for the game. So now that we do have the update, let's talk about why I think so positively of the current state of Rocket League. Aside from the actual update itself, which I'll talk about in a second, I think the big thing Epic is doing right with Rocket League right now comes down to their promotion and branding of the game. Like I said earlier, the problem with Rocket League for the longest time was that as players, we weren't hearing anything from the dev team. Now though, I feel like everyone agrees Epic is nailing it with their Rocket League promos. For example, the new Rocket League cinematics got a lot of hype moving throughout the community, and say what you will about things like the Fortnite crossover event, but you can't deny these things are bringing tons of people into the game. On top of that, Rocket League is doing this short series on YouTube called Rocket League 101 that, from what I've seen, is an awesome intro to the fundamentals of the game for new players. All of these things that Epic have been putting out are a great look for the game and do a lot to boost the morale of the community. Going forward, I think Epic's power is going to be in how they communicate with the community and build hype around these events, but I'll give a more in-depth look about this towards the end of the video. 
Okay, on to the actual content of the update itself, and this is where I was tempted to kind of go off at Rocket League when the update first dropped, but now I'm actually very positive. The two big things that I know were bothering myself and a lot of other people when the update dropped was server issues and the user interface. Starting with the servers, I can say from first-hand experience that I was playing in the College Rocket League qualifiers a day or two after the update dropped, and it was functionally impossible to make a private lobby then. Now, don't get me wrong, I get going from 100,000 players to over a million overnight is a big jump to deal with, so like I said, I gave Rocket League some time to sort it out, and it's good to see that with time, these issues have mostly cleared up. Another thing that was honestly gross when the update menu dropped was the menus and interface. Now, luckily most of that stuff has cleared up, but there are still a few things that, to be honest, I'm just baffled haven't been fixed. Like, for example, one, why are the pictures in the queue menu so unhelpful in describing what the button actually queues for? Like, you think it wouldn't be hard to make a trophy icon for tournaments and some sort of picture that differentiates competitive from casual, but I digress. These are small things, and I'm overall in a good mood because Epic has corrected most of the major issues related to servers and UI. Okay, onto the positive things I keep hinting at, and like I said before, I believe these largely outweigh the negatives and put Rocket League in a really good place. For one, I think Epic Games killed it with the tournament system, and I think everyone really likes the current options available with casual, comp, and these occasional tournaments. Another thing the game much needed with the new update was a rank reset, and I think Epic did really well in adding ranks above Grand Champ this season. What this has done is it sort of pushed everyone up the ranking ladder, and I don't know about you guys, but I feel like ranked is in a really good place right now. I rarely hear of Smurfs trashing people's lobbies like they do in other games, and overall, it's great to see rank doing well, because in my opinion, a lot of the core base that sticks to the game are people who love ranked and progressing at the game. So if we can get more people into that system and give players a real feeling of progression and improvement, that's going to extend the lifetime of Rocket League by a lot. The last big positive I want to mention is just that this update has introduced a lot of new players to the Rocket League scene. And when I say that, I don't just mean the game but also things like the content creation side of things behind it all. In my opinion, the Rocket League creator community is one of the strongest out there, and there are tons of different personalities, from entertainers to pro players to YouTubers who make Rocket League a great game, not just to play, but to actually follow and keep up with over the long term. One major element of keeping this game going that I'll talk more about in a second is supporting the creators behind it. And with the new creator code system and the influx of new players, there's been a surge in content creation and the YouTube content community is doing great right now. Okay, now that I've given my short summary of what Rocket League has done well, let's talk now about what needs to happen to keep this momentum going forward. Okay, big picture, I think there are three main things going really well right now for Epic that if they can replicate going forward, will keep this game going strong for years to come. In my opinion, these three elements driving the game currently are number one, branding and updates, number two, YouTube and content creation, and three, competitive play and professional Rocket League. Now, starting with the first element of branding and updates, I think everyone agrees Epic is doing a great job of building hype around the game right now. Now this is one thing that I've actually grown to really like about Epic, is they have such a massive platform to get tons of traction going towards their games. Now one way they do this currently is with the cinematics and seasonal updates, and I think it's really important they keep this kind of stuff coming, because this is what people see on social media, get excited about, and then it's what makes them actually come in and try the game. Now, like I said earlier, it would be naive to think the updates and events will always come at the pace they're coming right now, but even just having seasonal updates and crossover events from time to time will do tons to keep the game alive and growing. And one last thing I want to say about branding and updates is 
even when there aren't updates coming, I really like that Epic is announcing what they're doing in advance, so whenever they are making a change, they're building up hype to it and getting people excited about what's coming for the game. I think that's a super important piece of keeping the community happy, and as long as we know what's going on on the developer side of things, it's much easier to trust the people that are running the game. All right, the second thing I think is going great for Rocket League right now is the content creation side of things. The reason I think content creation is so important is because this is what really helps people become part of the Rocket League community, and it gives them a reason to stay over the long term. Apart from getting hooked on competitive play, being involved with the Rocket League community on, say, YouTube is the only real powerful force that gets players hooked on the game. I mean, think about it. Most players don't care about RLCS. They get inspired to play Rocket League because they see their favorite content creators making funny videos or scoring nutty goals on YouTube. So going forward, I think it's really important Epic runs more promotions to support these creators, and in the end, it's a win-win situation. If Epic can get more people to watch Rocket League content, these people will in turn be more involved with the community, and in turn stay involved with the game for longer, which, at the end of it all, translates back to playing more Rocket League. So one thing I think Rocket League could do that would be super cool to support content creators is have some sort of weekly creator spotlight, where say, on the homepage of Rocket League, they would feature an upcoming creator or popular content maker to help build that sense of community and sort of give back to the creators who have done so much game. Another quick fix Epic could implement to sort of build bridges between content creators and players is making workshop maps more accessible. Right now, workshop maps are a great feature, but they're limited to PC players. So if done right, I think adding a workshop map feature similar to that of the creative system in Fortnite, where players make custom maps and post them for other members to play on, would be an awesome add-on to Rocket League. Since Epic has already done this sort of thing with Fortnite, I hope it's not a matter of if this happens, but when this update comes to our game. The last big driving force of Rocket League that I think is doing well right now that Epic should try to expand is the competitive side of Rocket League, and specifically, pro play. Now even though I'm listing this last, I believe a strong competitive player base is a crucial part of keeping the game going long term, just like with the content creation side of things. Now I know I've talked a lot about players coming into Rocket League after seeing an update or watching their favorite content creators, but another way people go from being someone who just casually plays to being someone who's actually committed to grinding the game is through this competitive progression. And my channel is a great example of it, because many of you who watch my tutorial videos watch for that exact same reason. Because there's something satisfying about seeing yourself getting better over time and progressing within the game. So going forward, I think it's just as important to regularly update the game and support creators as I think it is incentivizing players to actually progress within the game. Now there are some ways Rocket League already does this, for example with competitive rewards at the end of every season, but I still think there's more room for improvement. Just as one example, I think a game that does this really well is Overwatch, and they have a system where you can view player profiles and track progress across different seasons. So I think it'd be really cool if Rocket League tried to do something like that, where you got some sort of performance review at the end of every season, and you'd have some sort of player profile that made it really easy to track progress and show it off to your friends over time. One last piece of this third competitive element that I think is super underrated right now is the pro side of Rocket League. I know I just mentioned this game, but going back to the example of Overwatch, what they do really well is advertising their pro scene. And I think it's really important Rocket League directs more of its attention here because people getting involved in that aspect of the game is another great way to turn casual players that just check in every now and then and play with friends into actual long-term players. Speaking of building friends in the game and staying longer, that made me remember another thing that I've been wanting Epic to fix forever, which is voice chat in games. I don't know why, but Rocket League is one of the only games where you can't jump into comms with your teammates, and I know a ton of people would love to have the option to join voice chat, especially in competitive play. So this is just another way to build better in-game communication and a sense of community. Before I get too sidetracked, back to my main point earlier, which was building up the pro scene and getting more players involved with that part of Rocket League. 
Now I know Rocket League does this in some ways right now with certain esports items, and if there's an RLCS game for example, they'll feature it on the homepage, but even with that, I think the Rocket League esports scene is still overlooked. In my opinion, this is where it all comes full circle. If you can get people to come play the game casually, then you can get them to be involved with the content creation scene, and finally, you can get them involved with that competitive side of the game, that's how you actually build a loyal player base. So to do more for this third piece of the puzzle, I think it'd be great if Rocket League featured more pro players and did more to introduce the casual player to the more competitive side of Rocket League. One idea I have for this sort of thing that's kind of like the creator spotlight I mentioned earlier is something like a pro player spotlight. So imagine each week there's a different set of features on the Rocket League homepage where you have, say, a featured creator, a featured pro player, and maybe a play of the week or something like that. Or what about a completely different idea? What if you got to declare your support for a pro team once every RLCS season or something like that, and in turn, you got to claim one of that team's esports items? Whatever it is exactly, I think any updates that do more to introduce players to the competitive scene and get them acclimated with pro players will serve the game really well in the long run. Okay, I know I just rambled on for a while and that's a lot to digest for one video, but I honestly do think the reasons Rocket League is doing well right now comes down to these three main areas I mentioned before. So bottom line is, if Epic can continue to add updates that improve these three pieces of the game, I think Rocket League will be positioned to continue to grow and attract new players way out into the future. All that said from me, I want to know more about what you guys have to say. What do you think of the current update and what do you want to see next? Do you like some of the changes I recommended earlier or maybe you have some of your own ideas? Whatever it may be, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make sure to check all your comments. Like I said, overall, I am really optimistic for what's to come with Rocket League. And as a content creator, I couldn't be more excited to get to make content for this game. All right, guys, that is about all from me. But before the video ends, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk more about that. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to be coached to Grand Champion rank in Rocket League. Now, normally I only coach my Patreon members, but if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit GC completely free of charge. So, if you want to enter for a chance to win that, all you have to do is leave a like and comment below with your rank in Rocket League. And one last thing, I feel like I say this every video, but really, I can't thank you all enough for the support on my videos recently. It's crazy to see the channel grow this quickly, and I couldn't thank you all enough. So, if you want to see more of me, make sure to check out my Patreon, join my Discord, and continue to like and subscribe on my videos to help them get out to more people. Anyways though guys, that's all I've got, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace guys.